Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal where we're going to be playing a little bit of a game show. So it's going to be really simple. I'm going to show her a picture of a drum related product, like a snare drum or a cymbal. Then I'm going to give her three price options and she has to guess which one is the actual price of the item. All of the items that we're going to be taking a look at today, I got off of sweetwater.com. So we're going to be using the prices listed there. I'm just letting you know that because these prices are different depending on the retailer that you're going to go to. And the last thing I'll say before we get started is that all of these products are listed in the description below if you want to check out any of them further. So with all that said, let's just dive in. The first item that we're going to be taking a look at is on the screen for you right now, Lindsay. So what you're looking at is a DW Performance Series exotic snare drum with dimensions 8x14. It's made of bird's eye maple. This is a Sweetwater exclusive. And now the three prices are 329, 549, and 869. So which one do you think is the actual price? Hmm. Okay. A snare drum. I believe the snare drum is the most expensive slash important of the drums. The drum possibilities, I think. And this is a Sweetwater exclusive. And I don't think they would have a Sweetwater exclusive if it wasn't nice. Which makes me think. That's like, uh, yeah. Which sure. <laughs> which, <laughs> okay. In Bird's Eye Maple. Uh, okay. This makes me think it's expensive, but I don't know that it's eight sixty nine expensive. These are all U.S. dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Sweet, important to Sweetwater's know. a U.S. retailer. Okay. It's, these are all U.S. So these yeah. are actually even more. We're, we're, we're filming this in Canada because we're yeah. from Canada. That's, <laughs> that's why that comes up. So Okay. Um, I'm going to go with 549. The final answer. 549? Yes. You are correct. Oh! First one cracked, first one cracked. That's right, dude. Oh, oh, Hell yeah, you're off to a good start. Coming out strong. So okay. I guess we should tell them what happens uh, if I win or if you win or what the other person has to suffer through after the fact. Yes. I guess not suffer because it's not really that big of a punishment. I feel like you will suffer more. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen is Lindsay just got the first one right, so she gets a point. If I fool her, I get a point. If she gets it right, she gets a point. Whoever has the most points at the end is going to win. The winner will teach the other person their trade. So if I win, I'm going to teach Lindsay how to drum. If she wins, she's going to teach me how to sew. And we'll do that in a vlog later down the line at some point. So look forward to that. All right, so moving along, the next item that we're going to be checking out is on the screen for you right now. This one's a super simple one. Most drummers will recognize this. This is just a pack of moon gels. Now, the three prices that I've given you to consider are uh, $6.99, $8.99, and $12.49. Which one do you think is the actual price? Okay. Moon gels are one of my favorite things. Yeah, you love, you love moon love gels. Them. You have a bit of an obsession with moon gels. Every time I see them when they're fresh, like I just want to smush them. They have the best feeling. And then when they're old, they get all covered in like sawdust kind of from your sticks. Yeah, but then, but then you just get them wet and they get sticky again. Is that true? Yeah, that's how you clean them. You just get them under hot. I think hot water removes it all and then they're sticky again. But they really never go back to like fresh. They're never they come, the same. They come close, but with each sort of rinse, they get like kind of deteriorates it bit by bit. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, question. How many come in this little container I'm looking at? You know what? I'm going to have to go by memory. I don't actually know off the top of my head. I think you get five. Five? I think you get five inside of each little pack. Okay. Now the pack that is on the screen for you guys right now is uh, just a bit bigger than, I mean, you can fit a moon gel inside of it. So for the drummers, you guys know what that is. I guess this would be like two quarters put beside each other. Like if you had two like quarters, how, if you had a quarter and you double the quarter, that would be the size of the of the actual container. Yeah, they're not very big. No. Yeah. No. Um, okay. I don't think they're expensive. I wanted to say a toonie, but most of the audience won't know what that looks like. <laughs> it's bigger than a toonie, though, I think. You re oh, you think so? I think it's bigger than okay, a toonie. Right. I don't know. You'd know better. I, I honestly can't remember. Okay. I have that in the basement. I just can't remember the size. But go ahead. What do you think this, uh, the price is going to be? <sighs> I don't think it's expensive, so I think it's six ninety nine. Yeah, you got it. That's number <laughs> no! two. That's too right, dude. Too right, Yo, right off the bat. Going into this, we just assumed that I was going to be teaching her drums. I know. And you're killing it so far. But we, we've got a lot more to go, so let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> The next product you're going to be checking out is on the screen for you. We're mixing it up a little bit. Oh, boy. This is, see, the first two you had a bit of an advantage of because we've talked a lot about snares. Yeah. Uh, you're with me when I pick up my moon gels and my sticks and all my little shenanigans that I get here. Yeah. Um, this one, I don't have one of. No. Uh, so this is a bit out of your territory. Let's uh, let's take a look at what we got. So this is a Latin percussion Rock Ridge Rider Cowbell. That's the title. Um, the uh, the prices that you have to choose from are $12.98, $36.50, or $59.99. Wow, what a name too, by the way, Rock Ridge Rider. 
Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Triple R. You know what, too? When I was looking this up, uh, I was putting this list together this morning, and one thing I didn't know that I realized is that there's a lot of signature cowbells out there. Really? Yeah, like a lot of signature cowbells. Pearl has, there's one artist uh, with Pearl mm -hmm. who actually has like five individual signature cowbells. What? Yeah, and they're oh. all different sizes and they have different names. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy. There's, the world of cowbells have a lot to it, I guess. Wow. I had no idea. Okay, um, let me think. Are cowbells expensive? What is it made out of? Like just I think metal? each cowbell is I'm made out metal. of a different alloy. So like the, uh, the cowbells, like the reason why you can have signature cowbells is because the metals are different blends. I don't okay. know. I can't give you an answer with this one. I'm not sure to be honest. I'm, I literally just picked the first cowbell off of Sweetwater. All right. Let's see. Okay. 1298 seems too low. I think. Because I just feel like music stuff's expensive in general. But is 5950 too much? Oh, uh, something about me is I'm such an indecisive person too. So this is almost like a really hard challenge just because of that. I think 5950. You think 5950? 5950, final answer. Final answer. And you are correct. That's number three. You're joking. Yeah, dude, oh they're gonna God. start to, bro. They're, yes. That men home are gonna start to think that we're rigging this. I know. You gotta start like, getting some wrong. I'm a fashion designer. I don't know these things. I just am like guessing based on. I don't even know. All right, so let's go to the next one. Okay. All right, so the next thing on the screen for you is a little bit of a curveball. I hope what? I can fool you on this one. Um, we have picked Foundry Reserve Symbol by Byzance. So this guy is the Minos Symbols Byzance Foundry Reserve Hi-Hat. It's a, it's a 15 inch Hi-Hat. Okay. Uh, it comes with what's on the screen there. So it actually comes with a special pair of Byzance branded gloves wow. that you're supposed to handle the symbol with. And there's, then there's a, uh, a limited edition stick by uh, Minos. They're Minos branded sticks Whoa. that have to do, I guess, with the pack that it comes with. Now the reason why this is the symbol is such a big deal is because uh, there's only a certain amount of people in the the world who are actually qualified to hand make these symbols. So these are the the highest end minor symbol that you can purchase. Whoa. Um, so high quality, definitely expensive. That's a bit of a hint. I'm gonna give you the three prices now. So the three okay. prices that this guy could be. All right. Okay. So okay. 599.99. Okay. 1112. 1550. Whoa. That's so a this lot is a 15 money. inch hi hat. Okay. Why? Okay. Why is there gloves? Are you not allowed to touch it with your fingers? Is it like fine art? You know what? I'm not honestly sure why they come. The fi I'm not sure why they come with the gloves. I think it could be that. It could be like for a like collector type. Okay. Hi but if you're gonna be, if you're actually gonna be playing it, there's no point in putting on gloves. You're just gonna. You're gonna smash it. Yeah. Stick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think okay. it's more so for collectors because, okay. you know, there's only so many of these made each year. Right. Comes with sticks, comes with gloves. What's Okay, what's the average hi-hat size? Is that like normal size? Um, Are they usually 15? Should I tell you? I guess so. Yeah, no, I can you, tell you. I can tell you the size. Okay. That doesn't say anything towards the price. Okay. So the most common hi-hat size is 14 inches. Oh, so it's a little big boy. It's a little bit bigger, yes. Uh, the right. most common is 14 inches, but you'll see hi-hats in, in 13 and 12. Um, 13 and 12 are kind of rare. You will see 15. 15 is the most common size outside of 14, I believe. Okay. Uh, I'm really just speaking to my genre, though. So okay. I'm not sure about like other genres, you know. Okay. Um, Let me think. <sighs> I feel like... I really don't know on this one. I feel like symbols are usually around like $500, like the ones that you buy, but it comes with the gloves and the sticks. Tw like $1,100 is a lot of money. I'll give you another hint. I don't- No, don't give me a hint, don't give me a hint. Well, me hint. I'll just say, okay, okay it's what? not really a hint. I'll just say, I don't own a single foundry. Like, you know the prices of my gear because yes. we kind of handle that together, but yes. I don't own a single foundry reserve oh. by my own. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, part of me thinks you're like tricking me and you're telling me how expensive it is and it's gonna be $600. No, something. I'm just telling you the details. I mean, for God's <laughs> sakes, it comes with gloves, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's true. It does come with gloves, so. It comes with gloves. Okay, okay, okay. I can't, oh my God, if it's $1,500, that's literally so much money. $1,112. Final answer? Final answer. Wrong. No, is it 15? I fooled you. I fooled you. Oh, Dude. it's 600? Is it 600? Look, I peaked the mic. I was so shocked. I'm so I'm gonna sorry. I'm going to turn your game down. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. What was it? Tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. The answer was the cheapest price. No! It was, it was 600. I wanted, to, I wanted to fool you. I finally got you. You're too. You're really good at this. You spent a lot of time hanging around me, I guess. I do, I do. <laughs> well, the moon gels were easy. I was kind of surprised you picked the moon gels, to be honest. Yeah. You well, did a well, video a once. Up. I'm getting you warmed up. That's true. Yeah. You did a video once about like Threw a curveball with this guy. <laughs> 
I know. You did. I even like predicted. I'm like, maybe this is a trick. But. Yeah. You yeah. You do help me with the graphics for some of the videos, and like I have yeah. talked about moon gels a lot, so you were yes. probably familiar with that price. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that I had going for me, I guess, was the fact that um, a lot of the prices that we've talked about in the past, like if I say them out loud, they're not always USD. So that's one thing I was. Gonna oh. Take this These are all USD, and in the past that's I've true. said CAD or USD, whatever. That's true. That's true. Uh, anyways, though, moving right along, the next thing is on the screen for you right now, and this is a Pearl Export EXX five-piece drum set with hardware. So uh, yeah, you get a full kit. You get the hardware as well. I don't think it comes with the symbols, but you get the hardware that the symbols are being supported by, okay. and you get everything else to do with the with the shells there. Okay. Uh, the three prices I'm giving you are yes. five hundred and twenty-nine ninety-nine, seven hundred and ninety-nine ninety-nine, or one thousand two hundred fifty-nine ninety-nine. Oh my gosh. Okay, if I had to just guess, I would have like without options involved, I would guess like four thousand dollars or something. So this is not. <laughs> I don't know how much full drum sets cost. Four mm. grand for that? I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. You get the stands, you get the the two rack toms, and the there's okay. So there's five. Yeah, five pieces. Five piece drum set. Um. Yeah, you get the snare, the kick. Yeah. Okay, but if it, okay, if two it's rack. Six, I just burped. Excuse me. Two rack okay. toms <laughs> and the floor tom. You get all that. <laughs> And then you get what looks like three stands. I imagine yeah. that this kit comes with a, a pedal too. What? Yeah, in these in these types of packages, usually wow. the pedal comes with it. So this is probably like a starter drum set, right? Uh, like yeah, this I will be say like that this is a bit a of a professional drum well, set. Well, just the prices themselves are a little yeah. bit on the on the cheaper side for sure. Um, what were the? Th oh yeah, the. Yeah. Well, you, the, well there's a twelve hundred dollar option there, so. Even that seems too low to me, though, honestly. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Um. For uh, for what you're getting, I guess, right? If this was a higher end kit and yeah. it came with this much, yeah. yeah, the price would probably be probably be higher than the three options that are provided there. Okay. This could just be the five hundred dollar one, because that'd be so, like just because it'd be so surprising. I think I think seven ninety nine ninety nine. Okay. Okay. I honestly forgot on that one. I'm going to reopen the phone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, you were... You were correct. <gasps> no, really? Oh yeah. my gosh. You're okay. killing it so far, dude. I am killing you it so far. You are absolutely destroying this. To sew. I might have to learn to sew. Are you sew. getting nervous? I'm getting super nervous. <laughs> dude, sewing scares the hell out of me. I've watched you sew now for the last yeah. three years. And every time I'm watching you sew, I'm like, how haven't you stabbed your finger? I know. He gets really scared. That damn needle coming down, bro. I know. We'll just That's use a home machine. Bro. We won't use anything crazy. That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, moving right along. So... The okay. next image is on the screen for you. Oh, pedals. Okay. Yeah, dude, we're taking a look at a pedal. So Double this is pedal. a Tama Iron Cobra Power Glide dual kick drum pedal. The options, the price options that you have available to you are mm -hmm. $449.99. Okay. $859.99 or $1,589.99. Pedals are expensive, I think. These have chains, which I remember you talking about in a video. Uh, we, we did talk about chains. There's... Uh, it's the type of link. So there's direct drive, there's belt, mm -hmm. uh, belt driven, there's single chain, dual chain. Um, I will tell you this is a dual chain. Okay. You can just see because there's two chains on it. So. And then Iron Cobra. You have Iron Cobra stuff, don't you? No. You don't have anything? I do not. I thought you did. I have okay. Tama stuff. This is a Tama product. Yeah. I do have Tama hardware. Yeah. Uh, I have Speed Cobras. Okay. I don't think there's no way it's fifteen hundred dollars because I feel like okay the pedal you have now is like solid steel and I don't think it was that much or maybe it was. But even if it was that much, this wouldn't be as much. So I don't think it's fifteen hundred. You're talking about my trick pedal. I think that was yeah. uh I think that on on Sweetwater it's like nine hundred bucks. Oh my god, that's crazy. So it would be like thirteen hundred dollars if once you convert it. Yeah, so, they're expensive pedals. Okay. I think this is even eight fifty nine seems like a lot. I think it's four forty nine. Four forty nine? Yeah, final answer. Oh my god. <gasps> Am I right? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, maybe you made it too easy. I did make it way too easy. Ah, I made it way this way. is crazy. We when I did this list up, I yeah. was thinking like Yeah. There was a couple things that we took off. Oh, because it'd be too hard. Yeah, because I was like, she doesn't even know what this is. Oh, uh, well, yeah. if I don't know what it is. Next, yeah. <laughs> next, if we make another video like this, if you guys yeah. enjoy this video, comment down below. We might make a video like this in the future. I'm gonna have to make it a lot harder. I think you are. Yeah. <laughs> a lot harder. I guess me working with you has given me a lot of information. Yeah, I guess so, dude. You spent a lot of time <laughs> around me. I'm surprised. I didn't know you were paying attention to all this time, dude. <laughs> I'm not really. It's like passive. This one is going to trip you Oh, up. I don't know what that is. Threw a curveball at you. Okay, so what you're looking okay. at the screen right now is uh, product number seven. So we're just about halfway. This is a okay. Roland SPD SX special edition sampling percussion pad. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you like me to tell you what that does essentially? Uh, Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me like 
Briefly. Okay, uh, it's real simple. You can make each one of those pads yeah. sound like something. So you can really, you can attach almost anything to it. Very uh, commonly, drummers will uh, use like uh, like a, some kind of percussive instrument, like a glockenspiel or a xylophone mm -hmm. or some kind of synth maybe, and they'll, um, if they're playing in a certain key, they will bind the key to this track. So they'll have like a full scale Whoa. and they can then just play pads and it'll be in tune with the song that they're playing and they can create melodies off to the side of the kit or in the center of the kit. That's the idea behind it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you hit it with drumsticks? Yeah. Yeah. The, oh, you okay, see okay. those squares yeah, on the screen like there? Squares? Yeah. You're going to hit or those nine? squares and it's going to trigger a sound. Uh, okay. It's a similar, I mean, you know, I play on an electric kit in the basement when I'm practicing. So it's yeah. a similar concept to that, but instead of, instead of having like the pads configured to look like a full drum set, yep. uh, it's just this individual pad with, um, individual square with these, uh, pads on them. I see. Yeah. So the prices okay. you have to, uh, to glance at are 249.98, 819.99. Or two thousand five hundred eighty-nine ninety-nine. Okay. I'm hoping I can get some points here because I really don't <laughs> want to learn how to sew. I'd much rather teach you how to drum, bro. I really okay. I really don't know what this one because like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't even know this existed. Okay, so this is the first one where I don't really know what it is. Even you just explained it, so like I kind of do know what it is, but I hadn't heard of it before. You've never talked about this before. And I don't own it because that's the other thing too. It. Is like. I don't own the other products, but at least I own yeah. versions of them. Yeah, that's why I was kind of basing my prices on was like prices of stuff you owned. Yeah. Like just whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is a very expensive item. It also says special edition. So I think... It's Roland Electronics. Which you your e-kit is by them, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's... I think it's 2500 Okay. $89.99. And... Yes. You're wrong. No, how much is it? Gotcha. If it's two hundred dollars, I'm so out of here. It's eight hundred and nineteen ninety nine. All right, I could see that. <laughs> I guess it's not that crazy of an item that would be like twenty five hundred dollars. But there's a lot of buttons on it. There's a lot of buttons on it. There's a light up screen. You're right about that. It's quite nice. All right. Okay, cool. So there's a new item. Check that guy out. Okay. Woo! So what we're looking at here is a Minel Symbols Classic Customs Dark Expanded Symbol Box Set. So I think there's I don't know, that's a lot. Nine? Nine symbols? Yeah, nine symbols. Wow. Is there nine? Where's the hi-hat? They might have doubled up the hi-hat. Maybe there's oh. eight. Okay. I can't remember. I should have wrote it down. I think mm. there's nine symbols. Okay, we'll, we'll say like nine-ish, ten-ish, or okay. eight-ish, nine-ish symbols right. in there. Okay, cool. So your uh, prices to work with are $999, yep. $1,859.99, or $2,099.99. Okay. So eight, possibly nine symbols. Or even two thousand dollars seems. Minor classic customs dark. Okay, wait. You have one of these. I have one. Yes. I do know you do because I find it to be the prettiest symbol. That's what you say. That's because why I included this. It is the pretty symbol. That's why. Because <laughs> of the black streaks, it's very nice. Um, still though, eight symbols for two thousand dollars. Those those second those last two options are really close together too, so it really could be either. I don't think it's only a thousand dollars. I feel like that's not enough money. Hmm. I don't know. That's a lot of symbols. Um, I think I think I'm gonna go with the most expensive option, two thousand ninety nine. You're wrong, my dear. No, how much is it? Nine hundred and ninety nine. No. Yep. How is that even possible? That's like a hundred dollars <laughs> per symbol. I thought minor symbols were like five hundred dollars each. They are, but this is one of the cheaper lines. Oh my god. So there's like that's a great deal. You should buy that. There, there's okay. like I don't want to say cheap in the standpoint of like not good. Like they're they're okay symbols. There's lots there's yeah. lots of applications for some of these. Yeah. Uh, I know a noob Sastry uses these in some of his uh, in some of his songs. I guess just like there's like the lowest budget line, which is like the yeah. starter entry level, what you're gonna give to a kid in his first couple years. Okay. And then these guys would be like, these guys would be like. I guess the next level above that. And then there's like a level above that, right. which is the pro level. And then above that's like the foundry level. What you have one of these symbols though, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Is it just because like you said, like it? They're, yeah, they're 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 good symbols. Yeah. You know, they definitely have their applications for right. sure. Yeah. All right, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, wow, damn, you are making a comeback. I am, I am. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is on yeah. the screen for you right there. Oh, okay. Definitely case. change it up a little bit here. Okay. Okay, so that is a SKB a 24 inch ATA symbol vault with wheels. I actually have one of those in the basement. You do. Oh, it wait. looks familiar. I have two of those in the basement. You don't have that little extra back piece though for like making it like kind of like a trolley. You know what? I think one of mine does. Yeah? I think one does and the other doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me oh, think. Oh, I forgot to give you the prices. Let me give you the prices on this guy. So the oh, potential yeah. prices are 58.49, mm -hmm. 182, 
or three hundred and forty nine ninety nine. Got that a bit a of a range lot. here. Bit of a range. Damn. Apparently, some symbols don't even cost three hundred forty nine dollars. So that'd be crazy. How many symbols could you fit in this though? So, like, is this one? Uh, no, you can fit five or six symbols. Okay. Maybe five or six. Yeah, five it, it six depends symbols. on the symbol's shape. You know, like China's take up a little bit more room because they got kind of some unique curves to them. Right. Um, that kind of stuff. But I mean, I think I can fit five of. F uh, let me think. Yeah, I think I can fit five in mine, in one of mine. Okay. Um, and then it's 24 inches, so you can fit any symbol that's less than 24 inches. If you have like a 25 inch ride or 20 right. something crazy, you can't fit that in here because it's it's too wide. That makes sense. Well, do they clang together though? Like, is there like dividers inside? There is, is this in cheating? <laughs> no, 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 it's not cheating. Okay. You want to ask some questions about yes. the product? Yes, is there dividers mind. on the inside? Yes, there's not dividers. Like, there are pieces of foam with fabric over them Ooh. that come inside. So you can lay, what you do is you put a symbol down. There's yep. like a little nut in the middle. Okay. You put a symbol down on that. Yep. Uh, through the center hole of the symbol. And okay. then you put a layer of fabric, which is the divider that comes with it. Mm. Then you put another symbol, then a layer of fabric, then another symbol, then a layer of fabric, and so on until you get to the top. And then there's a locking mechanism that you put on top of the nut and you tie, uh, uh, tighten it nice and tight. So oh. all of the symbols, they're, they're secured in the center and they're pressured together so oh, wow. that if you like if you dropped it the edge of the symbol wouldn't hit the edge of the case because it's suspended inside the case i see yeah wow okay and then so there's definitely some uh working parts to this i guess you could say then it has wheels as wheels and as you a can carry or hand, it two handles two yes, handle options yeah, two a little seat belt okay a little seat belt that's right it does, yeah <laughs> a little sad release belt you know what yeah i mean okay. like Talking it through like this, it's a really yes. great case. It's a really great case. <laughs> yeah, it's a good case. Okay, you said something that makes me think this might be $350 because you said it comes with foam covered in fabric. That's right. Foam is an expensive material, fun fact. Maybe not to companies, but generally speaking, it's not the cheapest thing in the well, world. Well, if, uh, if I get so, all this wrong, I might have to learn a little bit more about it. Yeah. <laughs> or if you get it, if you get it exactly. right. Sorry, if you get this right. I don't think I don't think fifty eight dollars is enough because that's quite nice from what you said. I felt it on the outside; it's very sturdy. I've moved it around. You've carried it. I've carried it. Oh, I don't want to just choose the most expensive every time, but I feel like music gear is so expensive. I think I think I'm gonna go three fifty. You're checking. You're going three fifty. Final I'm, answer. Three fifty. Final answer. One hundred eighty two. No, that's a deal. That's actually <laughs> a good deal. <laughs> it's not. I mean. I mean, almost I know it's expensive. Almost two hundred dollars to to transport but, with your symbols. Will you ever have to buy another one though? Like, look no, at that thing. That's no. like hard plastic. That is the thing about drums is like a lot of these things that we've looked at from the standpoint of symbols, especially. Uh, we haven't yeah. checked out any sticks yet, but I have sticks on this list. Oh, they can be pricey, but the tough part is they're pricey, but you have to pay for them again and again. Yeah, you know that's yeah. why they're called breakables. Like that's oh. if you if you're going to a show and you're using the house kit, oftentimes you'll be told by the the venue. Yep. Uh, yeah, we were supplying kit, bring breakables. So that'll mean usually like it'll usually mean maybe your kick pedal, your snare drum, and some of your cymbals. Oh, I Those see. Those are the things that are most prone to break. The, the the kick drum is? No, your kick pedal. Oh, the kick, the kick yeah, pedal yeah. is? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. The pedal you have is like well, I guess a tank, but I guess they're not all like that. The thing about it is like, those are the pieces that are going to wear out for right. sure. But more importantly, like the kick pedal is something that even if you people didn't ask you to bring it, you want to bring a kick pedal because it's very, like each kick pedal, pedal is very dialed into the person. Right. You can have, you know, Personal. you can have two Tama Speed Cobra pedals or Demon Drive pedals mm -hmm. fresh out of the box, give them to two different artists, let them play it for a week. And then when they come back, those pedals will feel completely different because of the configurations that those artists set up with. Interesting. Yeah, they're very configurable. So you're going to want to be as comfortable as possible playing the kit. So you're going to want to bring right. your own pedal. Yeah. That makes sense. So moving right along, the next item on your screen for you is right there, Lindsay. We got a pair of Vic Firth American Classic drumsticks in the size of 5B with wood tips. Mm, okay. The three prices we have to work with are $9.99 for the pair, $12.99, or $15.98. Hmm, for one single pair. One single pair. Okay, American Classic. So, I don't even actually remember how much your sticks are. I think they're like $15-ish. I don't think these are $16 US. I think that's too much. I think they're probably, I think they're just basic. I think they're just, oh, are they $12.99? I think they're $9.99. I think they're just $9.99. You're right. Yeah. Oh my God. I nearly got it wrong. I almost bailed. I almost, went, almost to went to 12. I almost went to 12. Yeah. No, they're yeah. $9.99. That makes sense. Good they work. seem like basic regular drumsticks. Yeah. So. Those are super standard. Yeah. American classic Vic Firth 5, 5B. Perfect. 
about as uniform as you can get, really. Okay, so the next thing we're looking at on the uh, screen for you is a drum set. It's a uh, really good looking drum set, too. This is an SJC Drums Paramount Series three-piece shell pack in tuxedo stripe. Tuxedo stripe. Yeah, looks good, right? Look, it is, it's very now, nice. Now, I guess we should do a little bit of clarifying. Okay. This is a three-piece shell pack, which means right. that the, the, uh, the symbols and the hardware in, in it yep. don't come with it. Right. So none of that's there. It's literally just the the rack, the floor, and the kick. And no snare, because no snare, snare is special. No kick paddle, just those three guys, okay? Now the three prices that mm -hmm. you've got to work with here are $999.99, okay. $1,499.99, or $2,489.99. Wow, okay. This is anyone's game here. This is anyone's guess, because I've heard SJC before, but I don't know if it's nice or not. I think it is. I think it probably is because it doesn't come with a snare, so this is not like a starter drum set, or else it would come with everything. So this is more of like a, like you know what you're doing drum set, I think. So I think, hmm, $9.99 would be like $300 per shell, which is already a lot. But then going up from there, $2,500, that's like, that's crazy. Yes, ma'am. I think, I think it's $1,000. I think it's Nine, the nine hundred ninety nine yeah. ninety nine. Yes. You are wrong, my dear. How much is it? It's the middle, the middle option is the fourteen hundred. Oh wow, that's a lot. That's five hundred dollars per piece. You know what? I gotta tell you. Um, yeah. Is that not a lot? It's very reasonable. Oh my. God. It's very reasonably. Priced. Why do you, Why do you do something so expensive? I've like I've seen <laughs> SJC kits with a kick rack and tom yep. be as high as like. 4,000 at times if it's custom what? this isn't necessarily custom but yeah i mean they well, can custom. they can go up to um is it well sjc custom okay by when i say custom i meant like custom made like you you oh. phone them up and you go here's the dimensions here's the wood i want it made out of here's how many ply right. here's the hardware i want you to use that kind of custom this is i guess it's a custom made drum set but it's you you buy it like that right? like anyone so, could buy it really yeah yeah right. yeah i think it's more like sjc custom drums is the name of the company i oh okay yeah uh, but anyways yeah okay. so it's 1000 it's 1500 bucks 1500 okay. right. that that's not that outrageous i guess i could have gone with that answer too yeah anyways moving right along next thing we're going to come to is on the screen for you right now are they bongos tell me they're bongos <laughs> <laughs> this is the latin percussion matador traditional bongos oh! in a whiskey barrel wood oh yes ma'am that's nice okay <laughs> you have three price options 29.99 <laughs> yes 68.99 yes or 179.99 no way they're only $30. You get two, right? Or is it just one? Those are connected. You oh can't my really gosh! you can't really oh. tell on that photo, but there's okay. a there's a, a piece of I think steel, some kind of metal that it's attaching the two of them. Gotcha. Uh, so you can put it on your lap and they will they will like if you hold on to one, the other will just be yes. attached to it. Uh, obviously there's there's yep. some stands on it so you can play it on a table if you wanted. Play some not Buffalo stands, Soldier. Not stands but feet. Okay. Um I think it's 180. I think the other two prices are too cheap, personally. You are correct. Oh, that's right. I there mean, whiskey go. barrel finish, Scoring like that's classy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know how product, you know how manufacturers can be with buzzwords. That's true, yeah. <laughs> but yes, it's it's, it's a good looking. Just, it's not just dark wood. It's, it's a good looking barrel. pair of uh, it's a good looking pair of bongos. It is. It's a great looking <laughs> pair of bongos. <laughs> we were gonna go with um, when we came to this, we wanted to have some percussive stuff. Okay. And uh, Vincent and I were gonna go with the cajon. You know what a cajon is? No. That's what I said to him. I was like, that's a little bit too far out. She's going to have no idea. It's yeah. those wooden boxes that you sit on. So it's a seat? Oh, yeah. You don't know, right? No. I, I feel like we've been in, like, we've been to a shop and I've, and I've asked. played, yeah, and I've played a cajon before. You sit on it and you tap Play it, it from, yeah. from below? Yeah, you tap it. The top half of it is like a snare. The bottom emulates a, a kick drum and it's like, uh, yeah, it's a very common just sort of percussion huh. instrument. A lot of bands will use them in acoustic scenarios. Okay. All right. All right. Do you have to sit on it for it to work? Yeah, that's how you play it. Ah. More or less. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Moving right along. So the next one. Oh. Got some drum heads on the screen for you there. Ooh. So what we're looking at is a uh, it's a pack. Comes okay. with three drum heads. This three. is an Evans EC2 Clear Tom pack. Okay. Comes in the sizes of 10 inch, 12 inch, and 14 inch heads. That's what you're looking at there. So okay. those are the three sizes of those guys. Now your price options: 37.65, 48.99, or 62.73. Hmm. Okay. Three heads. You buy heads. 
relatively often. I play EC2s. Those are the you heads do, that right? I have on my on my rack and floor right now. Well, you play you play a black one too sometimes, right? Uh, that's the Evan Onyx, and that's a snare head. It's okay. not a snare head. You can use it anywhere, uh, mm-hmm. but I use it on my snare uh, okay. very commonly. It's very metal. Black. Yeah. <laughs> it's black, it's metal. Imagine you had them all black. An all I've black had, kit. I've had all a black of, throne and a black outfit. Oh, just all black everything. Yeah. You wouldn't see me. I have black curtains. Yeah. <laughs> You'd see just your hair and nothing else. <laughs> just like floating fluff ball. Okay. I thought they were like thirty dollars for one, but maybe I'm just imagining that. So let's see. Sixty two would be like twenty dollars ish each. That seems reasonable. Although you're getting them in a pack, so you might get a discount. I'll say $48.99. You are wrong, my dear. How much is it? How much is it? $37.65. What a steal. What a steal. What a steal, friends. That's amazing. That do you is choose a steal. the sizes? Or do they just only come in? This pack comes 10, in 10, 12, 14. 12, 14. But do they have other packs of the same price with different sizes? Uh, I don't know. I, I, okay. I'm sure they do. Okay, moving right okay. along. What are we on? We're on 13. So we have two more, two more to go, and then we're oh done. And then we get to see who's gonna be uh yeah. Who's going to be teaching who what? All right. So the next thing we have a symbol. Oh, whoa. Badass. You are, you are looking at a Minel yep. Symbols Classic Custom Brilliant Trash China. This is an 18 trash. inch. This is an 18 inch symbol. Okay. And uh, the prices you have to work with here are $95.82, $169.99, or $499.99. Mm, it could be any of those prices in my mind. This is like a shot in the dark for me because you literally just explained how Minel has all different levels. And I don't know if classic custom is nice or not or whatever, like high, I don't know what you call it in symbols, high end or whatever. Um, trash China symbol. You have something that is trash. Yeah, but even if I say yes, like that doesn't really get you anywhere. <laughs> it does a little because I kind of know how much your symbols are, but not really. No, because uh, the word trash in yeah. like the context of symbols can describe a lot. You can have a trash stack. You can yes. have That's trash you have. symbol. You can have like a trash crash. Okay. You can have trash hats. You can have trash china. And trash I got to tell you, like depending on the series and depending on which one of the, the symbols that I just listed off, those are all at very different price points compared to one another. Okay. So just because you know that I have a trash something. Right. Doesn't really help you a whole lot in this Doesn't situation. Doesn't really help. Okay. See, I like this logo too. The classics logo. You it's almost what? metal band font. I'll give you a hint, but I won't necessarily, this won't necessarily help you a whole lot. Okay. I don't own any classic customs. Mm. I don't own any minor classic customs. That's not true. I own a classic customs dark, but that's not yes. a classic customs. The pretty customs one, dark. right? Yes, yes. Yeah, the pretty one. This okay. is a classic customs. This is the brilliant version. The brilliant version. Ah, yes, the brilliant. Yeah, of course. Precisely. Right, <laughs> okay. I don't think it's 95. So I'm kind of. Although maybe it liter- it could be. It's a uh, it's a China. China's China's a very used symbol. It's very often hit symbol, correct? I mean, that just depends on the style of music. Okay, I feel like I feel like you hit it often. Um, I use a China in every song I do because in like the genre I play inside of, it's a very mm-hmm. common symbol. Right. But like as far as the prevalence of it in the track, uh, that's different every song. I see. Yeah. I okay. I'm gonna go with 4.99. I think. You're wrong, my dear. No, how much is it? How much is it? It's the middle option. Ah, uh, shit! I should have went with that one. I knew it wasn't 95 though. Yeah, I thought that's a, way too cheap. It's 169.99. Wow. Yeah. That's like not bad. No, it's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. So to answer your question of, yeah. I get not even your question, but to comment on your speculation. Yes. This guy is on par with the classic customs dark. And that was okay. a big hint for you because the classic customs dark we just saw a We're couple not minutes ago and they weren't that expensive. Uh, These symbols aren't beginner symbols by any means. Cool. Okay, check out the screen. I think okay. we're on the last one. This is it. We're on the last one. Take a look Jesus, at that guy. Jesus. Okay. Let's finish it off with a bang, baby. That looks hella nice. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So what we are looking at is a DW Collector Series Jazz Exotic Shell Pack. Oh. This is a four-piece pack. So that means that you're getting four pieces. Only four pieces? Only four pieces. Only four pieces? Yep. So that's going to be the kick. Yeah. The rack. Yeah. The second rack and the floor. Okay. All right. So you have a high tom, mid tom, and floor tom, and then you got the kick drum. You don't get any of the hardware and you don't get the snare drum. This is just those four, wow. three toms and a kick. The prices we have to work with are going to be $3,499.99, $4,999.99. Oh my God. Or $12,599.99. Holy, what is this made out of? Is this like... The collector series stuff is among the highest of the DW lines. And it's jazz. Jazz is classy. (laughs) I don't know. I feel like that makes a difference. (laughs) (laughs) I don't see jazz people like going like this, all right? (laughs) 
<laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> not beating the shit out of things. <laughs> sure. Very, like... Okay. That imitation of drumming is going to help you here when I have to teach you drums in a sec. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. $12,000. $12,000 is so much money. I will say four this. Four things. I will say this. Yes. $12,000 for a drum set, while it's extremely expensive yes. and maybe uncommon, it's not impossible. Oh my God. There are definitely kits out there that are more expensive than that too. Uh, are they made of gold? <laughs> <laughs> or something nice. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing with this game. I'm like also trying to like psychoanalyze you at the same time because I'm like, what do you put in this to trip me up? Either trying to make me think it is expensive or trying to make me think it's not expensive. I mean, I am trying to win, right? So <laughs> to a degree, like I am trying to trip you up, right? Yeah. I, I put in a lot of ones that I knew you would you were gonna get because I didn't want to oh, just is that true? to just destroy you. That would just be sad to watch. And to be fair, I don't know if I could have because there's a couple yeah. things that I did like I don't mean to say it in the standpoint of like I know for sure that I could have gone completely fooled you all the way across. I don't know yeah. if I could have done that because there was a couple things I put in that I thought were gonna fool you. And you got right. And then there was a couple of things that I thought um, she'll get this right away. And then you yeah. didn't. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's a bit of back oh. and forth. I, you surprised me today is okay. all I'm saying. That's you definitely surprised me with... Uh, surprised what information I retained? Yeah, with, with some of the guesses you've had for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So what do we think? I don't know. I don't know how to reason this out. The first two are kind of close. And then 12,000 is just like... I'll give you the options again here. So 3,499.99, 3, like yeah. 4,999.99 okay. or 12,599.99. Wood, four pieces. Do okay. Wait, rack toms are on something. Do they? Does it come with that, or you have to have your own rack? No, those look like they're Starcast tube. Uh, so they're mounted off of the symbols. That's the thing about like the higher up in kits you go, yeah. typically you're gonna find virgin bass drums. So a virgin bass drum means that there's no hardware on the bass drum. Wait, virgin? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So virgin bass drum <laughs> means that there's no hardware on the drum on the bass drum to actually mount the toms with. It's so pure. This is the most stressful one, honestly. This is the last one. This is the finale. <sighs> this is the banger. I wasn't gonna go with just like. Do I choose twelve thousand just because it's so if, outrageous? Dude, if we got to number fifteen and I just yeah. put on the screen like a friggin' like a, I don't know, like a. Like a, one of those things that holds your stick. Yeah, like a <laughs> stick holder. Yo, exactly. That's what I'm saying. If I just put that, that would have yeah. been such a downer, dude. Dude. You this know is you number could've... 15. This is the final. Dude, this is like total side note. You could have put in some sort of throne and I would have no idea how much those cost. Really? Yeah. I, don't I, know. I just got a new one recently. I, I don't remember how much you paid okay, for it. Right, I have no idea. True. That would have fooled me for sure. But uh, let's, okay. We're sitting on drum thrones at the moment, dude. Yeah, we both are. I'm actually thinking it's not very comfortable, to be honest. Let's just do 12,000. 12,000? Let's just do it. You're wrong. Mm. It's the middle option. It's the middle option? Yes, this is 4,900. It's a $5,000 shell pack. All right. That's still crazy expensive, though. Yeah, oh yeah. For four pieces. Oh, yeah. like, for a kick, for two racks. Over $1,000 per piece. Yes, ma'am. That's pretty crazy. But it's DW Collector Series. I mean, you could put this in a glass case and call it a day. Right. All right. So, shall we tally it up? Sure. Let's tally it up. First item we took a look at was a DW snare and Lindsay, you got it right. Then we looked at the moon gel. I got that one right. Then we took a look at a cowbell. You got that right as well. Then the minor Byzance symbol. You fooled me. Yeah. The foundry edition hi-hat. That's right. Then we went on to a pearl drum set and Lindsay, you got that right. After that was the Tama pedal and I got that one right as well. Then we took a look at a Roland sample pad and uh, I fooled you on that. Then we looked at the minor classic custom dark symbol set and you fooled me on that one as well. Yep. Then we took a look at a, uh, a symbol vault and I fooled you as well. Then the drumsticks, I got that one right. After that, we took a look at an SJC kit and I fooled you on that. Next was the bongos and the bongos I guessed correctly. And we took a look at an EC2 Evans head pack. Uh, I fooled you on that guy. Second last was the Trash China by Minel and you fooled me there too. Yep. And then the last thing we concluded with was the DW Collector Series kit and I fooled you with that as well. So what's the grand total? So the final score is Lindsay 7, Wyatt 8. That's right. I guess I'm going to be teaching you how to play the drums. I guess so. You know what though? Like we've been talking about doing that for a while. It was an idea for a video, yes. Yeah. But my, my confidence in doing this is very, very low. <laughs> Well, whatever. That's the only thing. It's going to be fun. 
I don't think I'm musically inclined. We'll have a good time with it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a good time at the very least. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, guys. So we hope that you guys all enjoy this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you did, make sure to let us know in the comments. If you want to support this channel, you can check out the Patreon link and merch link in the description below. Make sure to check out the merch link. On the screen for you right now are a couple examples of the new line of merch that we have out. So definitely take a look at that. We've got a ton of new designs. All of the ones that were on the store have been completely redone and taken down. So a lot of new options for you to check out if you want to grab maybe a hat, a phone case, a sweater, t-shirt, tank. Definitely check that out. In closing, you can connect with us further at our social media pages on the screen or in the description below. Thank you so much for checking out this video and we will see you guys all very soon with something new.